Hello everybody and welcome to this stream and YouTube recording of a brand new Crusader Kings 3 series. Now we are playing on this series the Great Amazon Warriors of Mythologically Greece. Um, historically they were thought to be come from somewhere slightly else but mythologically they were the Great Amazonian Warriors of Greece. Now as you can see we've started down here in Greece in the county of Achaia and our goal for this one as asked by Spec Ops is to basically um, make a female dominated culture and religion so I need to first off perform Hellenism which uh, as you can see I'll need to get Athens I will probably go for the island of or holy site of Delos which will be the island and then depending on which one comes up easier, we'll see. I will either hop across to the Holy Site of Onia or Mount Olympus. Now Mount Olympus seems like it should be the one I get for role-playing reasons. However, knowing how difficult these things can be, I'm not that fussed. Then of course, the Byzantine Empire will have to crumble. Although at the moment, they will definitely be my best defense against the Pope and his Crusades. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, definitely my best defense in terms of that at the moment. Then after that, we will basically just create a glorious Amazonian empire. Um, I'm very much up for suggestions. If you can think or suggest certain things that should be included in the Amazonian um, empire, anywhere that you think is mythologically slash historically kind of you know put it towards being a good idea for instance as an example there's the old realms of Alexander so do we hop down here and take Egypt and you know maybe a bit of what is now Jerusalem but you know what would have been uh, old Persia back then um, do we obviously make sure that we get all of what would have been classed as Macedonia who knows? Um, but yeah, maybe I just take down a few of the great organizations and reinstall them as women-dominated areas. Now, as I said, this will be the end goal. It has not started that way because I have to reform everything. It will be a women-dominated society and culture. The first thing, like I said, I have to reform is my religion. That will have to go to female dominated. But once I've done that, I can then change my culture, which will change from Greek to Amazonian. And I can give in the traditional pillar of having that female dominated. And also, once that's then done, I can change my succession to be female only. So. It's going to be a lot of changes like that. We are completely rechanging our society. We, of course, um, in terms of legacies, we do want to push the blood legacy and make Amazonian a very common trait in our family and bloodline because we are playing the Amazonians. Only makes sense. Um... But yeah, so guys, if you've got any ideas, got any tips, got any, got anything that you feel like you could, I could do, or the, you know something that might fit into the roleplay going forward, feel free to jump, jump up and chuck them in the chat, or if you're watching on YouTube, chuck them down in the comments below. And also, just a quick shout out: the mod I am using for this one is the same as my last Pen Dragon series. It is Tip Volume Two. It adds a lot more cultures, a lot more religions. And it has basically allowed it to rework so that, let's just say, Hellenism has, or Greco-Roman has, I think about five or six different versions in this one. But the point is, well, Hellenism is actually mostly based in Greece. As opposed to before, there was only one option for Hellenism. And for instance, it was in Rome. Uh, it's still down here in Egypt. It was, I can't quite remember, it may have even been in Carthage. It was, um, yeah, it was everywhere, put it that way. It wasn't really going to be viable for me to do this on the vanilla version because I would have had to literally conquer most of the world 
or at least the whole of the Mediterranean, just to have a hope. Um, so yeah, so obviously the original goals will probably be to take the duchy. Um, I'm in a duchy with our duke is orthodox. However, my friend down here is Hellenistic. And my friend here is... Uh, he's No, he's Slovianskan. He's Slovianskan Prada. Now, of course, we also do have the joy of being an unreformed religion. We can raid, folks. Unfortunately, I'm very much surrounded by my allies, so raiding could be hard. Although, I think I can raid my neighbor, technically, still. We'll give that... Excuse me, we'll give that a go, quite frankly. But first, as you can see, I've just started a new game. I have several things I need to sort out. For start, I have no player air. Uh, I have no chosen lifestyle. For that, we are going to go Marshall. We are a Marshall character. And I want to go Bellum Justum for the first one. And then probably put a few in Gallant to help that out. Um, we will go Chivalry. Oh, wait. I think, I, yes, I have a lifestyle to put in there. Bellum Justin is just what I want. Uh, I am not married and I have no heir. That is a problem. Uh, council. I do have a council, however. Convert faith in my county. Let's make my home county Hellenistic. Okay, okay. My... My chancellor and vassal. Oh, I can get this guy who's a 15. Uh, domestic affairs, please. You are my best steward, somehow. You are... My steward is actually better than you. And my, my steward is just best at everything, really. Um, unfortunately, I can only employ him once. Such a shame. Um, so you're going to convert faith in my county. Let's find me a husband. Which... Uh, matrilineal, of course. Fertile, of course. Um, inheritable traits. Let's let's keep adding to the bloodline. Um, probably a little young. Uh, quick, robust. Oh, we have genius. You look a little bit funky, though. No, you're just very slim for your age. Uh, let's be having you. Let's get some genius in the family as well. Hopefully we keep the Amazonian, because that is kind of the whole point. Send that proposal. We will hopefully be married. Uh, still check my military, which is not great. Um, okay, and then, so that means that my starting castle is going to be a pretty... Low level hut. Yeah, there is not a lot going on there. As you can see, I in fact control the duchy capital, which means that uh, no factions against my liege. Ah, there are no claimants on any of his titles. So wait, let's see if I can. He has a lot of troops, huh? Yeah, he does. How about you? You got a lot of troops? Yeah, you do. Man, I am weak. I am starting very, very weak. Um, let's see if I can go raiding at multiple points. Ah, my good old glorious king is trying to take Sicily. Maybe that will uh, distract a few people. I don't think I can raid this guy as he's technically, I'm not hostile with him in any way whatsoever. I just want to quickly double check. No, I cannot. I didn't think so. So unfortunately, I can't raid any of my neighbors because I am in the middle of the Byzantine Empire and I cannot raid across the ocean because I believe that possibly takes an extra... Extra bit of a cultural pillar, which is a bit of a shame. 
I can declare, declare 22 wars. I can hire a court position. Uh, active election in the Byzantine Empire. Can I elect me? Um, I guess not. Now, I've got to marry this person. However, it's not gotten me an alliance, which maybe I should have looked at first. Because um, I can't do much conquering without an alliance. However, I can... Uh, I can declare wars, I just can't do any... I'm not really going to win any fights or any conquering because... Um, well... Position of Spy Master of Achaia. Except, I thought I would have become Marshal, to be honest, but okay... Uh, I mean, yeah, seriously, he's got an eight. He's got an eight. And he somehow is the marshal before me. But hey ho! Uh, mine yet, yeah, he can assist Rua, that's fine. Um, Vassals, just this guy who hates me. Uh, let's sway him. What's the point? Yep, you endorse me, and you're giving me nothing, because there are no churches in my realm. I don't actually have one in my county. So, let's start to sway my only vassal. Hopefully he can then give me... maybe a little bit more. Let's get him on my side. He, of course, does want a seat on my council, but... Unfortunately, guys, he rather sucks. He rather sucks indeed. Oh, what's for pause? My apologies. And we have already won this war. That didn't take the Byzantine Empire very long, did it? Oh, he's defending. And I've captured the war leader, so... You know. That's not going to go and take very long, is it? Your liege passed the law, limited crown authority. Oh, did he now? Create liberty faction. There is one member, me. Add members. Not going to happen. Even though they both hate him. Strange marriage of a concubine. Sway murder. Which is strange, I can't have concubines, although maybe it's only in... Gender... If allowed by gender law, yes, because it's male dominated. They can have... Concubines. Right, well, you see, keep converting that. Uh, yes, you're correct. I have no player error. If I could go and become pregnant, that would be fantastic. Oh, I have an organizer. Interesting. Uh, I need a couple more points in Marshall, so I can maybe get a couple more knights. If you control a majority, 51%. Of the counties that are de jure to one of your legis title, you can spend prestige to get an unpressed claim on it. I unfortunately don't have that. So instead, I could declare a holy, oh, an independence war on him. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. Strange, but I can't. Oh, wait, so also, does that mean. not have a Cassus Belli, but I can declare 22 wars. Okay. How many does he usually have? Quite a bit, and uh, quite a bit, so he could come back and basically kick my ass. 
could attempt to go and slap a nice bit of Italy onto my thing. Could always jump over here and grab Salerno. It's not really where I want to go, but the point is it'll be another county and a few more troops. It does slightly outdo me though. Good, he's been swayed. That's starting to improve. Let's get a, another point in this, which will, I believe... I don't know, just increases my prowess when I would like to get, yes, all the way down there, but that's in a while. Oh, at least the second point will give me 75% knight effectiveness, so that'll be quite easy. Go on a pilgrim, but I have to wait to find the stars. Search for a position. None of those need to be done at this point. Now, Salerno, your primary heir is... This guy who is terrible. You are also terrible, so let's keep you in power because you have a prowess of six. Uh, you have a military power of five. Um, your military strength, however, is improving. You would be my best bet for a bit of conquering. However, I would have to do it very, very carefully. And it would then put me across the ocean, which I don't really want to do. Uh, I assume I probably can't. Oh, I can. I have to be illustrious to do it on a duchy, but I can do a county. Which is fine. Also, maybe I should attempt to solve the problem of not having a player air first as well and have myself a child before I run off waging war against the world because quite frankly people I will be leading my armies and I will be beating the hell out of people so how about oh no he's just gone home I was about to say so how about we uh we do that first Mounted exercise. Might gain a mas martial lifestyle perk. Let's try this one. Game one. I gain the trait aggressive attacker. Let's gain aggressive attract. Ooh, attracker attacker. Charge. Nice. And lead the riders in a mad dash down the hill. As we smash into the imaginary armor in the field below, every soldier finds their place in our line, readying strikes, falling back, twisting reins, and leaping into the fray. Cut down every last man in our path. Enemy fatal casualties plus 25%. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, I do not believe... Yes, and to raid overseas. Hey, hey, and I am pregnant. Huzzah. Right, let's have a child, and then let's possibly go to war. We are still... Yep, that is going to take forever, because my dude kind of sucks. 20 years. Oh, good. He's been swayed again. We're getting slightly better. That turns off in what? 8, 7... Ooh, that takes a while. Uh, short rain is also going down, as well as the sway going up, so... Double tick in my favor, and we will hopefully have a child soon, so... Oh, there we go, a new lifestyle perk. Yeah, let's start going down Gallop, let's put a few in here. And then I will potentially even switch over to August. No, in fact, it's not much point actually going to August, I was thinking. So I can reform my culture, but... No, I need to, uh, though maybe I will actually reform my culture, because that will allow me to start pushing my innovations with my characters, so that could be a grand idea. See, because the current cultural head is the Empire Emperor of the Byzantine Empire, so, you know, probably not going to um, beat him on the number of counties. 
so maybe I will do a partial reformation. Which, how much would that cost? Greek culture, diverge culture. Uh, well, that's going to disappear. I have a newborn daughter. Huzzah! Let's keep it down the female line. Uh... Connection of talent. Right to prove. Increases my number of knights. Yeah, either way, it's going to cost me quite a bit. And you do have to change your cultural pillar. Uh. Yeah, it is going to cost me a fair bit. Right, I have just been given birth to a daughter who is quick. I have the ability to pass on Amazonian and Genius, and I have a player Aaron daughter who is quick. Um, Gabriella it is. May Zeus grant you long life, my daughter. Well, we have a player heir. I'm not very happy with my player heir, but we do have a player heir. Um... Oh, 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 you've broken off. Oh, you're rather weak. Oh, but you have an ally. Who is your ally? Is this guy? Salerno. No, sorry, for Zens. Uh, Falk, as soon as we're in bed together, is clearly distracted, and I clasp his hand gently and ask, What is the matter, darling? It's a money matter, he sighs, running his free hand over his head. I have some family who are short on luck, and they're close to losing their home. How much is it going to cost me? 50 gold? Nope! Uh... Okay, we shall do that one. We shall lose a little bit of gold, and it's the best compromise I have. Uh... Is he low on troops? He uh, is also in this person's jail. Fantastic, I tell you. Fantastic! Hmm. Let's declare war on him. Aha, we are gaining lots and lots of opinion. Will you convert? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Ah. Uh, Oh! You relinquish this title for with. Oh! Oh, bad times! Bad times! This could be the end of the game already. I give you a last bit. About to lose my one and only title. Uh, this is the problem as starting. We'll join your rebellion. We'll join your rebellion. Uh, so, which point I'm going to decline. Uh, raise all here. I'm actually gonna come down here to hopefully join my allies.
he's decided to wait on the planes for me, which is always very nice of him. Oh, that's an interesting start for you folks. Uh, guys, 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 <laughs> guys, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit dicey. I gained 50 gold because my husband found it for me. That's fantastic. That'll regain the 15 I gave to his family. That's interest. The loan came back in. Victory. I had a glorious victory against my duke. So does he have... He does have two castles as well. I'll be damned. Compared to my oh-so-glorious one. Oh! I need 150 gold. No, 100 gold. No, but I think I want... Pass. No, pastoral lands. Our trade port, I probably... Go in for, maybe... Hillside Farms, maybe. At the end, what do I get? 1.7. A good bit of supply limit and skirmish of toughness. Oh, whoops. Looks like I'm already constructing it. I accidentally clicked on the button anyway. Uh, let's pause that second. Looks like I don't get the choice. Preview is what I should have clicked on. Uh, 1.7. Ah, so it comes out as the same amount of money. So it's all good. Uh, so I guess we shall... Um, okay, stage one. Let's sell back that prisoner because... That's 100 gold my way. Because quite frankly, I can still win the war even without the prisoner. That's the accidental gold I just went and spent on my new farmlands. Um... Gets the law autonomous vassals. That drops down. Have a piece of that. He is deposed. Even better. He spends 500 and he is deposed. Would have liked maybe a, maybe a hook or so. That would have been quite nice, I think. I comply with your demand. Expand my armies. Oh, well, I, in essence, got a free building out of it. Um... I am constructing some hillside farms. Not only a new law, we have a new liege. Who is... Oh! Who is the woman I just went and... Or, uh, who I just put into prison. Chancellor. Again. Not the marshal. How did I not become the marshal? Crazy, I tell you. Absolutely crazy. Um, oh. Because I didn't sway him, I gained stress. Well, wow, that's... I didn't realize that happened. That's a new one for me. Because I'm gregarious. And... I didn't sway him, I gained stress. Um... Bellow. Gain independence. That could actually be suicidal. Uh, what I do need to do is gain troops. That's what I need to need to uh, need to do. How about you, my neighbor? Can I can I take your lands? No, I can't really wage war internally, which is a bit of a shame because I am very much surrounded internally. Which means I would love to be able to take your lands, quite frankly. You also now have an ally. No problem. Sway for the compliments. Oh, it has a low chance. Uh, he is ambitious, fickle, and cynical. Empathy and kind heart. Eh, youthful vigor. May have a chance. 
handsome appearance. He's a rapacious atheist. Sure. Youthful vigor. I don't know how well that went. Hey! Um, give it election in the Empire. The Sardom of Bulgaria is clearly winning that election vote. I can declare 29 wars. Uh, levies, but the crew under his command is able to organize mob more than an army. It's never easy to train new soldiers. He seriously needs to do better than this. He accepts my advice. Cheering up after the training is over. I'm going to cheer him up and gain that opinion. Uh, Salerno of the Don Valley. Who is that? Oh, wow. That's uh, That would be a bit of a stretch. So let's not attack the Don Valley. Uh, okay, and with these guys, they would join in is the problem. That's not going to be a good idea. Uh, what's the point then? My... You. My va one vassal. 85% chance. I demand you convert. Blessed be you, Zeus. Uh, we can just stop talking, quite frankly. Um... Provinces, however, part of something much, much bigger. Kingdom of Province. Uh, I need to break that alliance, really. I don't suppose you're up to being murdered, are you? Alliance effectiveness is 75%. Glorious. Uh, intrigue scheme. Invite one person. Is it worth it? Oh, it could be. How much, though? 50. Uh, right, no, you're not going to be murdered then. Which means I might be having to take Salerno. 314. Do you know what? Let's go for it. I think we can do it. We've got a pretty good army. We've got uh, very effective knights. You know, we've got the 175% on the go. I think we can do it. Declare war on you simply because. Simply because. That is all. Now the problem is I do have to go across the ocean. Oh, but there you go. It's only going to cost me a whole four gold, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you just love it when you have small armies? I remember when this used to cost me, ah, oh, in the hundreds. The hundreds. Uh, upper guardianship. Uh, I would like for your young daughter and heir to be raised by this person. Yourself. A most skillful guardian. You are a terrible guardian. You are... Okay, no. That's somebody else anyway. Oh, your mother. She's not a bad guardian, actually. Um, but still, no. Because, quite frankly, you'll try and change your religion. So, uh, no. Um, just quite frankly, no. Right, now I need the disembarkment problem to disappear. 23, 22, 21, 20. Two. One. I will most probably win. He has defender bonus, but I am just strong. I have the much better commander because I am an Amazonian warrior, folks. That's right. You just got beat up by a girl. Um, not enough soldiers. I need 400. Okay, well, this is a problem because I don't have 400 soldiers. Let's hope maybe he comes back. Is he in his army? I don't think he is. 
this is going to be a problem. I can't actually siege him. I captured a mayor, but that's not going to help me. Um... Hmm. Well, that's a problem. I don't have enough soldiers. Even if I manage to regain all my troops, I don't have enough so I need 400 troops, folks. And I don't have 400 troops. Uh... He needs to join his army so I can capture him. Aha! Got it. I think I got his air. Uh, enforce demands. So be it. Disband all. Disband all. Nice! I did just go and create some more soldiers, even though I actually had no need to. I can ransom this group for 30. Let's do that. Uh, that is now part of the Byzantine Empire, which again still affords me some protection from being invaded. Um, I get you to fix the counter control in this place. Uh, we have a, what do you have? A trade port and a bastion and curtain wall. Ooh, curtain walls. Uh, my number of levies has barely changed. Um, But I do have more troops, either way. Currently gaining zero gold due to the fact that... Oh, or very less than zero gold. Due to the fact... That, uh... I am raising more troops. Sweet smiles and little lyres. Oh, she's ill. That's never good. She is charming, however. So we shall make her... Hmm, that's no intrigue. Let's go Intrigue. I'm at the point then, so I have a seven, seven second county. Chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. Maybe it would do me good to practice skills with another weapon. Me and my hammer will not be parted. 70% chance I show them how it is done. Damn right I do. Because I'm Amazonian. As soon as you, hopefully. Uh, hopefully replenish. Nice, there you go. Gaining the money back. Then as soon as you get the max size, we'll be gaining the money back from you as well. Um, I can then declare wars again. Because, oh no wait, I wasn't in there anyway. So I could have declared wars either way. But, so, you'll probably be what I take next. Although I could do with... You no longer being allied. What's the chances of murdering you? Still 10%. Not that great. Uh, you're 42. You're 25. So you are probably going to go first. Um, oh, wait. But it's all going to your one son and heir. This guy. <laughs> so he could do with being murdered. Um, oh, that's all good. It's... It sounds it's almost a province to nothing because it's just kind of there to to pump me a few more troops, to be honest. Uh, my strength has now improved. Uh, let's actually look at the county. I mean, the levies are down due to the fact that I'm Eastern Roman legacy. But that's almost counteracted by my awesome martial skill. Um... Although it is reduced by 35% due to the counter control, and of course then my tax goes up slightly as well. But that does need to be turned around with the counter control going back up. I have created some hillside farms, that'll also help with the money. And my troop numbers. I no, not my troop numbers. Touch my troop numbers. 
I could do with increasing my troop numbers. What would we have to do that? Hunting grounds wouldn't be a bad one because it still gets me some more money. Um, barracks gets me straight levies. Military camp gets me straight levies. And trade port simply gets me straight money. So, we should obviously leave all that ticking over. Now, I... Again, only independence. Do not really want independence at this stage. Uh, never back down. And of course we want household guards with four more knights. That will, once again, improve our army quite nicely. I mean, it's amazing how it's dropped down to two stars again. I mean, I just got 200 more men-at-arms. I got about 100 more levies, but my army quality has, in fact, decreased. Always interesting. Um, I'm not really surrounded by anybody that's uh, potentially considered weak. Ha ha ha, you have lots of children, my good friend, now don't you? Arrange marriage. Matrilineal, of course. It would also create me an alliance with him, which kind of makes sense. He is inferior to me, but I should probably want to defend him. He's my Hellenistic friend and brother, I think, still. Yes, he is. That's good. Um, send proposal. Sixty percent chance. Sixty percent chance. Okay, cool. For five years, armies lack provisions. What does that do? Supply capacity minus twenty-five percent. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. My armies are so small; it does not matter. Uh, I kind of want your eldest son to disappear now, before he has any children. Uh. Only a 10% chance. Such a shame. Such a shame. Because then your player heir comes this fantastic boy who is matrilineally married to my daughter. Although I might be able to push something through that anyway. Uh, and you, my good old friend, you need to be removed. Hmm. As to you, I need to put a claim on your title. You have two titles. Ah, because one is in fact a barony. But the county should be fine. I think I will put a claim on that county once I have finished converting faith, which will take pretty much until my death. Um, I'm even I'm so close to even just abandoning it. Uh, oh, I can appoint someone. No, I can't. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, slightly different customs. It was easy to miss at first. Over time, small changes led to a large ones. However, and now the Greeks living in Hapsid have begun to identify themselves as Cretan instead. Cretan Greeks are becoming to value grit and determination more than ever. Okay. So we now have Cretans, who I believe are over here. Yes, they are. Okay, the Cretans have appeared. You have 790 with my allies. I can outdo you, but I do need more fame first. I need a lot more fame first. Uh, stay with me here instead. Get me pregnant. I need more children. <laughs> Come on, do your manly duty. <laughs> Before I have to do death by snoo snoo. Um... Right. Anyway, 